Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you my makeup drawer. It's very minimalist because I don't have a lot of makeup, obviously. I was doing a makeup tutorial and it just kind of just didn't work. So, yeah. I need to get back into doing makeup tutorials because I really love makeup and I want to use up the makeup that I have. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to show you my makeup drawer, and yeah, let's just get it. The top is kind of like my Harry Potter bookshelf. I have my picture from when I went to Universal Studios and Wizarding World of Harry Potter last year, and I loved it. I have my Morphe makeup brushes that I bought for myself. I have some Harry Potter playing cards. I have the Hogwarts Express. And I have some books. I do not have the full set because I'm reading them. Once I finish the second one, I'll get to third and then so on. And then, yeah, I'm buying... I also buy the new pieces. So as soon as I read this book, I'm going to buy number three for this set and this set. And then go on. And I also have my Hogwarts notebook that I got from Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And I have this book, which I absolutely love. It's so good. And then I have just a Tarte brush holder and then it has some extra brushes in here i have a butter beer bar of soap that i got in geek gear harry potter boxes it literally smells like butter beer but it's just in the soap form and it's so amazing and then i have fred's wand i got this in a geek gear box and yeah that's just the top of it so like i said this is my junk drawer and this is my makeup drawer face products um we're gonna be using my tripod and i'm gonna hold it so i'm sorry if it's too shaky but i just had coffee so this is my blushes my highlights and then my bronzers my lip products and my face products and then an eyebrow and then a couple eyeshadows and setting powder okay so the first one i have in here is the nars orgasm and a little mini it's just really pretty i got this for a birthday present from sephora and then i have the ulta beauty flush blush in sweet as honey and it is so pretty i absolutely love it I also have a Milani blush in Romantic Rose because everyone has one. So I had to pick that up. And then I have two Face Papa Don't Peach blush slash highlight, I guess. I love this. this. This was like the first ever blush I bought a couple years ago. And I love it. It smells so good. Mmm. It smells like peach rings and I love this so much. I will never get rid of this until it goes bad. But this is so good and I used a ton of it. And then highlights. Okay, so I have this Laura Geller mini and this is in Gilded Honey. Everyone, everyone raved about this. So when I found a mini, I decided to pick it up. It's just a little too much for me, but I had to have it for my collection. Next, I have my favorite highlight and this is the Urban Decay Sin. It's the Afterglow Highlighter. This was recommended by Samantha March. I love her and after I bought this, I absolutely love it. I will always wear it. I This is the best one of the best highlighters that I have and I put a lot of use into this one. And this is a fairly new one. This is the Pixie one in Delicate Dew. These two have lots of shimmer. I didn't realize it did. I like them, but I just have to be careful because of my textured skin. These are really pretty. I still have yet to play with this more, but it's pretty huge. I like it. And the next one is my favorite one right now, and this is the Anastasia Amrezi highlight. This is amazing. It's just a pretty champagne gold. I love it so much. The next one is the... Uh, Champagne Pop by Becca and Jaclyn Hill. I literally have everything of Jaclyn Hill. I just really like her and I just love this. It's so beautiful. And then another favorite, this is my MAC Strobe Cream. It's very iridescent, natural, 
glow i actually think i'm not gonna wear this today so i also have this maybelline master chrome highlight this is the maybelline master chrome highlight and it's in 250 this is the one with um wow i don't even remember her name but i don't know why i got this because she blocked me on twitter for some reason i don't know why but yeah but i bought this so great okay so bronzers we're gonna start with the lightest first and there's my butter bronzer which i love and this is in light i'm always talking about this this gets a lot of love a lot of love my next one is the burt's bees in toasted cinnamon oh this is so beautiful I love this one so much. It goes on so smoothly, but I'm too pale, so I can't really wear this. It's too, a little too much right now, but I want to wear it so bad. And then this one is a Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. So this is not the first one. This is the second one. I was going to get the milk chocolate one, but that one just looked too light. So I just got the second one, which is chocolate, and I love this one. This is so smooth again. Very buttery and it goes on perfectly with my skin and I love it. Easy to blend. And then last one, I just picked this up last week, is the special edition Hula bronzer. It's huge. Like, look how huge it is. Baby is huge. So the reason why I wanted to get this is because it's so big and it will last me a long time. But the only way I can re wear this is if I have foundation or if I'm a little tanner. I just tried this on today and it was way too orange for me. So I'm going to have to get a foundation or get a tan. So, But yeah, I just really wanted this because it's huge. So that is my blushes, highlights, and bronzers. Including this one. And then I have some extra brushes back here. I have a translucent powder. This is not the Laura Mercier. I did not like it. This is actually the RCMA and I put it inside here. And then I gave both of them to my sisters. So I kept a little bit of RCMA just in case. I might need it. I have an Urban Decay eyeshadow in Sin. I don't know why I bought that because I have the makeup palette. I have my Makeup Geek um, quad in Infatuation. I got this from Target. I've only played with this twice and I don't really like it. So that's a waste of $20. I have my favorite Rose in the Air eyeshadow. I have my eyelash um, clear gel. I have my Dermalogica foundation. I have my Tasha primer. And then I have this Porefessional primer, which is the pink one. I have two MAC lipsticks. One is in Cream in Your Coffee, and the other one is Cream Cup. So this is Cream in Your Coffee. I really like that. It's a natural color I can wear every day. And this is a really pink. It's like two, it's like a baby pink. And this is Cream Cup. And then I have two lip liners. The first one is in Soar. I really like this. It goes, this is in Soar and it goes great with the cream in your coffee. And then this NYX one is in Nude Pink and I love it. It's also a really pretty one you can wear every single day. Then I have two lip products. This is in Exposed lip paint this is the tardis lip paint in exposed i just bought this and i really like it and then this one is in birthday sue i like this one too i bought this one because i thought i lost this one but i finally found this one so now i have two of them they're literally the same color except one of them is a little more matte so that's funny but yeah that is my makeup drawer and this is like my extras drawer. I have ponytails, I have earrings, I have some lashes back there. I like to keep my boxes. I have my Naked palette, I have the Jaclyn Hill palette, I have lighter for candles, and then I have like some of my electronics, like extra battery, memory card. And yeah, that's just what I have in the second drawer. This drawer is another junk drawer. It's like headbands, 
more brushes that I don't use. Um, my Kylie bag that I use when I travel. And then another one is just more junk medicine, my bares. Oh, that is everything that is in my five makeup drawer. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe down below because I will be posting more videos. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey,